Hey guys, quick video giving you five reasons to serve God after salvation. Oftentimes people object to the doctrine of eternal security and salvation by grace through faith alone by arguing that if salvation is not of works, if salvation is not dependent upon our service to God or the way we live, then why live for God? Why live a certain way? Why serve God if serving God does not save us? Why do good works if salvation is truly not of works? Here are five reasons to serve God after salvation, starting off with number one, to bring glory to God, to glorify God. The Word of God says in Matthew chapter 5, Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So we see that the first reason to serve God after salvation is to bring glory to God. Jesus said, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and in response do what? Glorify your Father which is in heaven. So we ought to serve God after salvation to glorify God, to bring glory to God. The second reason we should serve God after salvation is to demonstrate our love for God. Jesus said, if ye love me, keep my commandments. Look at what the word of God says in 1 John chapter 4. Herein is love, not that we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. The Bible says in Romans chapter 5, verse 8, But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Think about that. John chapter 3, verse 16 says, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. After salvation, we should serve God to demonstrate our love for him. We love him because he first loved us. The third reason to serve God after salvation is to earn a reward. Earning a reward is something we should strive to do after we have been saved by grace through faith alone. The Word of God says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now, if any man build upon this foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stubble. Every man's work shall be made manifest, for the day shall declare it, because it shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall try every man's work of what sort it is. If any man's work abide, which he hath built thereupon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's work shall be burned, he shall suffer loss, but he himself shall be saved, yet so as by fire. The fourth reason to serve God after salvation is the sake of others. I'll say that again. The sake of others. Being moved with compassion for others. The Word of God says in Matthew chapter 9, But when he saw the multitudes, he was moved with compassion on them, because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Notice that when Jesus saw the multitudes, the Word of God says he was moved with compassion on them. Think about that. He was moved with compassion for others. He looks upon the multitudes and he has compassion on them because they fainted and were scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd. Here's my question to you. Should we not strive to serve God after salvation for the sake of others? Should we not look upon the multitudes fainting and being scattered abroad as sheep having no shepherd and be moved with compassion on them? Of course we should. That is why the fourth reason to serve God after salvation is for the sake of others, being moved with compassion for others. The fifth and final reason to serve God after salvation is to receive blessings in this life. Look at what the Word of God says in Mark chapter 10. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house or brethren or sisters or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my sake and the gospels, but he shall receive an hundredfold now in this time houses, and brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. 
So there it is, guys. Five reasons to serve God after salvation that have nothing to do with working your way to heaven. Number one, we serve God after salvation to glorify God and bring glory to God. Number two, we serve God after salvation to demonstrate our love for him. We love him because he first loved us. Number three, we should strive to serve God after salvation to earn an eternal reward in heaven one day. Number four, we serve God after salvation for the sake of others being moved with compassion for others, loving others. And the fifth and final reason to serve God after salvation is to be blessed in this life. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below, How to Be Saved, The Bible Way to Heaven, and Be Saved Today. God bless.